What is the correct biblical perspective on burial versus, crema versus cremation? <clears throat> Excuse me. What is the correct biblical perspective on burial versus cremation? I get that question a lot. The scriptures does not inform us of any specific teaching about cremation. In the Old Testament law, if you study it, comb through it, there is no command that a deceased person or deceased body couldn't be burned. There's no such command. There is no judgment, both Old or New Testament, on someone who's been cremated. Or, if that's what your plan is, if you pass away before Jesus returns, there's no judgment on it anywhere. God created these bodies. I don't think he'll have any difficulty recreating them when the time comes. I mean, give enough time for the body that's buried in the ground or wherever it's buried, it will turn into dust. Now there's some exceptions, like Egyptian mummies, but the climate has to be so friendly in a decaying process. And you've seen those mummies. They're not very attractive, are they? But that's few and far between. Like I said, God will have no difficulty on recreating a new body. Whether it's a speck of dust that returns to the earth or a decayed body like an Egyptian mummy or something that is found at the bottom of the ocean whatever possibly be left after a period of time. All cremation does is expedite the process of the body turning into dust. That's all it does. And I know there's some people that have hardline opinions on well, you can't cremate. Then what are you going to tell those Christians? In the early New Testament days, even about six, seven hundred, eight hundred years ago, that were burned at the stake. What are you going to tell those Christians? Well, they didn't volunteer themselves to be cremated or burned at the stake. Doesn't matter. Burn is burn. You box God in. And what's even worse, you box God in, you can't scripturally support it. And like I said at the beginning of this answer, the Bible does not inform us of any specific teaching about cremation. That's why I can't go, which usually I do, to scriptures. For a yay or a nay on the subject. You got it?